Hi everybody, Fintan here from Dams and Cloud, and today I want to talk about how secure is Google Drive? Yes, you've guessed it, we're doing a little bit of myth busting. So if you want to know more, you know what to do, stay tuned. So today we want to talk about is Google Drive secure and as I said we're going to be doing a little bit of myth busting. For those of you that don't want to go through them and would like me just to skip to the end, well the short answer is yes Google Drive is secure but I want to go through some of the myths that we often hear uh, as an organization um, and what our kind of responses are or what Google's responses are uh, to those. So the first one is isn't it easier to steal my information or my data when it's in the cloud or already out on the web than when it's on a device or a server in my office or in my home? And the short answer is no, it's not. Uh, so that myth is definitely busted. And you know, it, it is definitely something we used to hear in the early days way more. We're definitely hearing it less and less as people become more familiar with cloud-based solutions. People are using them more uh, for personal use. And so they're familiar with them then for both personal and in, and in the cloud. And also there's way more organizations using cloud-based technologies of all different sizes. And I think in the early days uh, of the cloud, we've been doing this for over a decade, there was definitely less examples of large banks and government agencies, um, particularly in Europe, using cl cloud-based solutions. Whereas nowadays, the security vulnerabilities that we see, the um, uh, you know ransomware attacks or the um, security uh, concerns that people have, when we hear about it in the news, it's very often, not always, but it's very often um, a traditional device that has actually been compromised or a traditional server that's actually been compromised that maybe was old and wasn't patched. And you know, that's, that's often the case. Um, and, it's, and it's the cloud-based solutions that are automatically kept up to date. And if good security is put in place are protected um, from these kind of vulnerabilities. And when we look at the um, difference in terms of the focus of the organization, Google, Google themselves have nearly a thousand uh, security engineers who are working, you know, and some of the world, world's foremost experts working around the clock to, you know, secure Google's data centers, to keep them secure and spot uh, vulnerabilities when they happen uh, as quickly as possible and respond to them. So it would be very difficult for any organization, even an extremely large organization, to be able to compete with that. Uh, and essentially you're outsourcing it in the same way as you would outsource the security of your money to a bank, you're outsourcing the security of your data uh, to an organization like Google. And then the second piece on that myth is that Google encrypts your data within Google Drive, both at rest and in transit. And so that ensures that your information remains secure when it's um, moving between your computer and uh, Google Drive and when it's actually in Google Drive itself. The second myth that we always hear uh, is, well, don't Google employees actually have access to my data? Can't they read my emails and my documents? Or doesn't Google read my data in order to advertise to me? A very, very common one that we still get asked. Uh, and that myth is also definitely busted. So Google's actual statement on this, and I'm gonna read it, is that the data the company schools and government agencies put into Google Workspace does not belong to Google. Um, whether it's corporate or intellectual property, personal information or homework assignments, Google does not own this data and it does not sell it to any third parties. And so I think that's really, really important and it's really a privacy piece rather than a security piece, but it is a concern that many uh, people and organizations have. And then the second piece within that is around compliance. So Google is compliant with all of the ISO, SOC 2 uh, and 3, PCI, GDPR, HIPAA, EU model contract clause, clause, and much more. There's a huge list which you can go and check out. We'll be sure to add the link uh, in the description of this video. And also Google have their own access transparency report for enterprise customers or those on an enterprise plan, which is very, very valuable for um, larger organizations or enterprise level organizations that require um, that transparency of access. And then myth number three is that, well, someone can actually easily hack or break into my Google account and access my Google Drive data. And actually this myth is not busted. Or is it? <laughs> you thought I, I had you there for a second. So um, this myth is actually kind of busted and kind of not. And the answer is that 
it's kind of your fault if someone can break into your account because it's up to you. Google actually give you the information and they give you um, the tools really to secure your own account, but it's up to you to actually make the account secure. And so what I thought I might do or finish up with is just go through five steps that make your Google Drive as secure as possible. So step number one is an obvious one maybe, but I think is really, really important. Make sure that you have a really secure password and make sure that it's not one ideally that you've used on another um, cloud-based solution or on your Facebook account or your Twitter account, because if one of those accounts is compromised, then that means that someone will um, more than likely also have access uh, to your Google account as well. And sometimes people will use the same password, and I do get that, um, but certainly for those very, very important accounts where your data is being held, make sure that you're using a unique password there. Next up, we have what's called two-step verification. And hopefully you've heard of this. Uh, sometimes it's called 2FA, two-factor authentication. Basically, it's two pieces of information um, to identify you to ver or to verify who you are. So um, we always say that security is, is a balance between the, se the security of your um, device or your account and the ease of use um, or, or access to it. So you could have a really simple password like one, two, three, four, but that wouldn't make your account very secure, would it? And so 2FA is that next layer of security where you log in with your password, but then you also require a second factor of authentication. You've probably done this on one of your accounts where you've, you've got to access um, maybe your phone to get a text message, um, or indeed you might have um, an authentication app on your phone. I use the, the Google authentication app sometimes. Um, and you can also use um, a couple of, of, of different ways of, of accessing it and just adds that extra layer of security. We would recommend a security key, which is a physical key that you've actually got to connect into your device to verify who you are. We wouldn't actually recommend uh, that you use your mobile device. That can be um, compromised now. Um, more easily than, than actually uh, people would believe. And so we would recommend that you, you need to add your phone to set up 2FA, um, but we would recommend that you really use one of the other uh, forms of, of second factor authentication. And that's for any um, cloud-based account, not just for, for Google. So definitely set up two-factor authentication. It is proven to be the best way to secure um, your account. And then the third one is around sharing. So obviously Google Drive makes it super easy to share your information and that's great, but you've also got to consider who you're sharing your files with. You yourself may inadvertently share a file via the link and make that link available online, or indeed you may um, share it with a group of people or a person you didn't intend uh, to share it with. So make sure that you kind of keep your sharing in check, keep your Google Drive organized, make sure that you're sharing it with the right people in the right organizations. If you're a business or an organization, we would highly recommend that you use Google's shared drives. Um, it's definitely the most secure way to share files and to keep control over them as people join and leave your organization. My drive is really, sh or should really only be used for personal sharing and, and sort of personal use files. Um, and then the, the next one I have is device security. And this is a big one for me. Um, people can go to a huge amount of effort to secure their cloud-based accounts, and that's great. But then if you have, um, access to your Google Drive on here or your Gmail or whatever, and you leave that account active and you don't have a good password um, on your phone or your, or your laptop indeed, then if that device is lost, you're giving away, potentially giving away access um, to that information and that data. So it's really important to think about device security because you're only as strong as your weakest point. And so wherever the weakest point in the, in the, the link in the chain is, that's where someone is at risk of gaining access um, to your account. So make sure your device security is also really, really high as well, that you can remotely wipe your device if it's lost, that you, can, that you have a really um, a strong password. On your laptops, make sure you encrypt the data. Have um, a really good password and have the data encrypted so that if someone did find your laptop, if it was, um, um, God forbid, lost, 
uh, and they tried to access it that the data would actually be encrypted. And then my last one is around admin tools, that there are ad administrator tools, I'm not gonna go into all of them here, but there are a huge amount of administrator tools that add a next level um, of security. And if you are an administrator, and we may do a separate video on this, look at things like the Google Workspace Security Center uh, on Enterprise, endpoint management for devices that actually allows you to secure um, endpoints like devices, whether that's mobile or laptops or desktops. You've also got Context Aware Access, which is a really interesting product that actually looks at the context of the device and the individual and where they're logging in from, the IP address, the location, all this sort of context to kind of see, is this how Finton normally logs in? Is this how John or Mary normally log into their account? And if something seems off, the Context Aware can actually lock down access or give limited access. So maybe it only gives access to certain parts of Google Workspace. Um, so someone's logging in from um, you know, an unrecognized device, but they recognize the user and they have the 2FA. They can't maybe access Google Drive, but they can access their email, stuff like that. Uh, data loss prevention is a big one, or DLP as it's called for short. And this allows organizations to put in place um, workflows and, and security policies to stop data being lost out of the uh, organization. Also, you've got things like drive sync restrictions where you can actually stop end users from syncing data down onto their devices. Uh, things like Google Vault for e-discovery uh, and much, much more. Uh, and then my final uh, one or bonus tip is backup. Please make sure that you think about backup with all of the um, news in the, in the recent uh, weeks and, and months and the last uh, few years around ransomware, but particularly recently, um, I would definitely recommend having a backup of your data because you know, you could do all of these things and still because of some compromised device or because of social engineering, which is um, where hackers attempt to, you know, actually get access to a, a, a system or a, or a business based on individuals and people um, and sort of tricking uh, people in the business. You know, things can still happen where you can get compromised. So having a full backup of your data with multiple versions that you can go back on is really, really important. The backup solution that we would recommend would be AFI. Uh, do take a look at them. They're an excellent backup solution on the Google uh, Marketplace. Um, and that's it for me, guys. That's my, my bonus one. I hope you found this one really uh, interesting. We, we took a while researching this. Uh, big thanks to our team who put a lot of effort into this particular video. If you haven't subscribed to Dams and Cloud's YouTube channel, please do. Uh, and if you're looking at this on LinkedIn or Facebook or Twitter, uh, please follow us on, on there as well. And if there are any videos that you would like us to see or any questions that you have, uh, please put them in the comments below. So that's it for me, guys. I will catch you next week.